failure. Okay, put it in your pocket or put it in the cup holder. All right, you're gonna get in and sit down. First thing you're gonna do is put your seat belt on. And you wait on her and when she gets in and sits down, and then you will start your in cab inspection. First thing you do, unlatch, latch your seat belt and it works properly. There's no cuts, abrasions, or frays. Seat belt is attached to the wall of the cab of the truck, to the seat, and to the full board. And there's no debris on the floor that can get underneath your feet as you're driving. Then you're going to show your three fuses. Uh, That's fuses. Your ABC fire extinguisher is bolted to the floor with uh, and it's in the green and it's fully charged with a pin. And you showed you just a reminder that you're going to show her. The, the triangles, they're in the side pocket out there as when you do outside the pre-trip on your outside. Okay. Then you look at your mirrors, right and left mirror. They're not cracked, broken, or damaged. They're clear and adjusted to me. Then you take your windshield it's not cracked, broken, or damaged. No illegal stickers. The, the uh, rubber. rubber seal around it is, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, sorry. Or, uh, is uh, intact and not cracked or broken. And the, the uh, Inspection sticker is up to date. And your steering wheel, properly mounted and secured. City horn, air horn work properly. And now I'm going to do a safe start. And a safe start is, I'm just gonna put the key in the ignition. Turn it to the on position, and my ABS light came on and went off. Push in on the clutch, show the in inspector that it's in the clutch is in, um, the truck is in neutral. And now perform a safe start, and just then you tell her that. that you're, you're, forming a safe start and letting now letting the clutch out. On the voltage, since I'm looking over here. properly. My water temperature gauge is working properly. My tachometer and speedometer working properly. My fuel gauge and my depth fuel gauge are working properly and I have enough to perform my tests, enough fuel and depth fuel. My primary and secondary air gauges are working properly. Now I'm going to turn my lights on. My high beam light is on. Work the dog, working properly. My 
lights are on. Uh, left turn signal is working properly. My right turn signal is working properly. My emergency flashers are working properly. Check my defroster and heater. My defroster. back on, but not crank the truck, let the computer set itself, I'm going to release both brakes, let it settle, I'm going to time it for one minute. Mash the brakes and time it for one minute and five seconds. And I should not lose no more than four PSI in that one minute.
minutes to the minute. It did not lose no more than four PSI. And I'm going to fan the brakes and at 60 pounds of air pressure, the buzzer and light will come on, telling me that it's a warning light and telling me that I have an air leakage problem. I'm going to fan, continue fanning the brakes and between 20 and 45 pounds of air pressure, both brake knobs will pop out. I only saw one. No, they both popped out. Sure you've got everything, then you tell her that I have completed my 